This month, we've introduced you to several organizations taking part in the nationwide pet adoption campaign called Clear the Shelters. Living Dayton Zach Pitts is working for you with how one woman's love for animals became a lifeline for hundreds of pets. Molly Clawson is on a mission that started when she was just a little girl. I started working in shelters when I was 11, and that was 44 years ago. And I've, we've been all over the country and the world, and I've always worked in animal rescue, got into some of it here, and decided it was time to open up my own. My kids are all grown. And even with kids grown and out of the house, she's still managing to stay busy. Cats have just always been my favorite. I'm actually allergic to short-haired cats, but that's the price you pay. So She's the owner of Lifeline Cat Rescue, operating right here on Terra Linda Drive adopting cats right off her front porch. In some cases, giving stray cats in her neighborhood a new future. We work to get them healthy and vetted and into really good homes. Working collaboratively with the help of volunteers to make a difference. Everybody gets the job done. We do TNR, trap, neuter, return for a lot of the feral cats. Um, we'll, if we take your kittens and you have a feral cat, we'll get her fixed too. As Holly's shirt would imply, it takes a village. The Lifeline Cat Rescue Facebook page is just over 3,200 followers and counting, a virtual community with a shared interest. It's only our volunteers. And like today, somebody's going on vacation and they need somebody to take care of their two kittens for a few days. And she put it on there and somebody will step up and do it. Holly says they get a little help from the bigger guys too. The small adoption organization also works directly with PetSmart, extending their reach and finding homes for these animals even faster. And our end goal is to get as many feral cats fixed and healthy as we can. Holly says the first year they adopted 500 cats, the second year a little over 300. This year, the goal is 700. Reporting in Huber Heights, Zach Pitts, 2 News, working for you.